Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Now this video is going to be a little bit different, this this video, because I've been wanting to do this for weeks now, guys, and just so much has happened with, you know, just everything catapulting, you know, how it goes my back, this, that, and the other thing. Um, but it's really been for a couple of months now, my dresser, we just put piles and piles, I just keep piling up my dresser. Never took any of my draw my my um summer stuff out of the drawers, so my my drawers have winter and summer stuff in it. But right now, I'm going to start with the pile of clothes that are on my dresser because number one, I can't find anything. Number two, I don't even know what I have. Yeah, that's another thing. Now the th number three is um it doesn't look very nice. <laughs> number and number four, I need to see what I have and what I don't have because. Um, this way, you know, you, you know what you need at the store or if you need anything, whatever. So guys, my husband says to me, are you going to show them that pile of clothes? And I said, of course I am. He said, oh my God, that's embarrassing. I'm like, I'm not, I am not embarrassed guys. Listen, I told you guys from the get go that I am here to be real. This is my real life guys. And I'm not embarrassed. If you guys, whoever doesn't like it or whoever, you know, judges me, then that's their business. If they want to judge me, I'm sure they're not perfect in their life either. So I'm not here to to make. I'm not here to get anybody's approval. I'm here to show you what I what I what's going on in my life. And if you're interested, watch. Hit that thumbs up button. If you're not, then you can always move on. So that's all there is to it. I'm not embarrassed, guys. This is who I am, and this is what my content's going to be. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe, guys. All right, because this is. This is a, a kind of stuff that I'm going to put up. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do the what's for dinners. I'm going to do, you know, um, venting. I'm going to do cooking, all, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, guys. So, no, that, the answer to his question is no, I'm not embarrassed. I'm really not. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, ready, guys? Ready for the reveal? Okay, this is it. This is my clothes. Look at this, guys. Look at the clothes. <laughs> That's a pile of my clothes. Now, there's summer stuff in here, spring stuff, and there's winter stuff. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start making piles. I'm going to say, okay, this shirt is good. This is, I'm going to have this I wear. Okay, so I'm going to fold that, put that over here. Um, so let's move this, let's move it over just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. Okay, so this is the keep. You can't even see it. You can't see it. Let me get it. All right, here we go. There we go, guys. I'm gonna make a pile with clothes that I'm gonna wear, that I wear now. Okay, there's probably some dirty stuff up here too because I put it up here and then I don't put it in the laundry and then when we go to do laundry, guess what? It's not done because it's in my clean pile. So, this I wear. Um, this is Jennifer's shirt. I have Jenny's clothes in here with me too. Put a pile for hers. Oh God. Yes, guys, that's my back. My back is still hurting me. This is a, a shirt that Julie gave me that I gotta put somewhere. This is a pair of pants that yes I do wear now. God. This is oh Jesus. This is oh this is a shirt that Julie gave Jenny. Gotta look through these clothes here. I'll put you up a little bit so. You guys can see a little bit of what I'm doing still. Oops. Here we go. Um, this is a shirt that I wear. I just want to have some sort of an organization, guys, you know, because it's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. I got slippy socks up here. I got... Crazy. Ugh. What is this shirt now? Let's see what this shirt is. Yeah, this is my shirt. This is like the shirt that I'm wearing. I think it's clean. <laughs> I think I put it on one day and then I was 
I was so hot that I came up here and I changed my shirt and I just threw it over here. I'm good for that. Is it or is it dirty? No, it's dirty. See what I do, guys? I put stuff up here and meanwhile it's dirty. And then it doesn't get washed and then I'm like, where's my shirt? You know? These, oh, this is Jenny's. See, Jenny's clothes are in here. Why? I don't know. Oh, no, th this is mine, I think. Yes, this is my pants. Yes, this is mine. So, guys, what are you doing on this Saturday? Um, I already went to the food store. I did a little shopping, not a big thing, so I didn't show it. But um, I had to pick up a couple extra things to get us through the next week. You know, I don't know. It's crazy. You know, being on Weight Watchers, guys, is costing me, is um, kind of changing my whole strategy a little bit because I, um, I'm, I'm buying different things now, you know. So when, uh, when, I was, when I'm budgeting, it's got to be a little different now. But the thing is, is that, like, what, the stuff that I'm going to buy, then I won't be buying all that other crap. Like, ow, I'm sorry, guys, my back. I, I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do. i got to go to the doctor. I keep saying that. I called the chiropractor, not off, not to get off subject, but I called the chiropractor, um, and they don't take my insurance, so now i got to find another chiropractor. But I don't know if I should tell the regular doctor or the chiropractor. I don't know what to do, but it's really, really bad. It's really bad. It's very, very painful, and... It's terrible. So anyway, besides that fact, um, what was I saying? Oh, um, reestablishing my shopping habits and all that. I mean, it's not going to change awfully, but it's going to change a little bit in the fact where, like, I'm buying stuff that, you know, that is more Weight Watchers friendly for me, and I'm buying a little bit more produce than I was because, I mean, I was eating a lot of salad and all that now, but now it's like I have to have certain things in the house, otherwise... You know, that uh, otherwise I'm going to do eat things that I shouldn't be eating. So I really have to have that, you know, like the um, the salad available and like the, the string cheese, stuff that are low points, stuff that I can eat, um, you know, and stay and stay within my points, guys. So so I have to just make sure of that. So I had to go to the food store today and, and pick up some more salad and pick up, a, you know, another cucumber and just stuff that I can that I have that will make me you know, stay successful, guys. You know what else, guys, I wanted to tell you? I was so excited this morning. I realized something. Because, you know, I I know that, um, this is, this is a Jenny's. Um, the thing is, is Weight Watchers, okay? What, whatever diet I'm on, okay, diet, lifestyle change, whatever they call it. The thing is, is that you have to, like I have to as a diabetic. And whoever has to do a certain thing because of their health, whether it be... I don't know, they eat better because of their heart, they eat differently because of their, you know, their diabetes like me or whatever. You have, like, I have to adapt Weight Watchers to that, to that situation. Because even though, like, okay, I'm, I'm on Weight Watchers. Now I get excited, oh my God, that I can make that dessert or I can have that piece of cake or I can have this um, pastry because it's only four points or it's only eight points or whatever. That's all fine and, and good. The thing is, is that I also have to watch my carb intake. So as much as I can have what I want as far as, you know, sweets or treat, whatever I want, I have to take a second look and say, wait a minute, that's low in points, but is it good for my diabetes? So it all, like I said, it all interacts with each other, guys. So what I thought about was I went on, I went on the Weight Watchers line and I called, I mean, I, I, I chatted with somebody. And I asked them, because I, like I have a lot of keto stuff in my house because I did keto last year. So I have all that like keto replacement stuff and all of that. And I have a beautiful keto cookbook, guys. It's downstairs. I should have brought it up. I have a beautiful keto cookbook. So I can make those recipes and undo keto recipes and all that because it's low carb and still be on Weight Watchers. So I, I wanted to make sure. So I asked I asked them on the chat, and the lady said, "Absolutely, absolutely. You just have to, you just have to count your points. So, you have to, f you know, figure out the points, and then, and then that's, you know, that's fine. So, I think finding, realizing that aspect, I think it's going to help me in a lot of ways because I could still eat the stuff that I want, but I'll eat the low carb stuff rather than just like, well, I'm, I'm not saying I'm never going to eat, like I'm never going to make a, um, a pizza, I'm never going to make a dessert." 
that's eight, that is eight points and it doesn't have urethral in it or it doesn't have the replacements. It's a regular, you know, it's not a keto kind of um, recipe or whatever. But um, I'm saying, what I'm saying is the majority of the time that that will allow me to do that, to, to, to make stuff recipes and stuff because when I was on keto guys I made all the recipes I made the muffins I made the cheesecake I made all those things so I've, I could still do that and then still you know be within my points and also watch my carbs because that's the man that's the bottom line guys for me is my carbs I got to get my carbs down so my sugar gets low and this diabetes gets more under control and I don't have issues in the future. That's the whole bottom line. So I, I don't know. So I had like a revelation. I'm really excited about that. I hope I, so I'm going to, I'm going to, um, investigate and I'm going to, um, you know, try some things out and see about the points values and all that and see how that works. And I'll let you know, but I'm so excited about that guys that I can really integrate because I still do have like, I have like, um, I have replacement like powdered sugar Sugars in my in my cabinet. I have all that stuff that I was making the keto recipes with in my cabinet still. So I could utilize those, which is awesome. And then I could still stay within my points. Will be great. So I'm really excited about that, guys. So I wanted to tell you that. Yeah, I had a revelation this morning about that. So that's good. Yeah. So let's get on this stuff. It's 2.30 already in the afternoon. Um, this shouldn't take me too, too long. One second. All right, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm finding all these, like I told you, these summer, springy summer shirts that were on my dresser that I'm leaving. I'm, I'm folding them and leaving in a pile. I'm going to put in one of my drawers because even in the wintertime. I was going to say, in the winter, you wear you wear summer clothes. Bye-bye. But even in the winter time, I wear those clothes like when I'm cooking and I'm in the kitchen, and I'm doing videos and stuff. Sometimes I just get between the oven and the, you know, and the heat. I just can't wear something long sleeve like this. So I like to keep those near me anyway, because I'm, I'm very, I'm a kind of a hot kind of person. I, you know, I get hot sometimes. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I have a pile there. I'll show you when I'm, when I'm done here. So I'm going through like, this is a summer shirt. You know, my tank tops probably have to be washed. I mean, they're, they're clean, but they're like wrinkled and stuff. Here's, here's a pair of shorts, guys. Woo! A pair of shorts for when I want to be cool. Here's another shirt, another tank top. I got lots of tank tops. Lots of tank tops because I like to be cool. My shorts. Um... What is this? Another pair of pants. Oh god, another pair of pants. Um oh here's a bag. That's what I wanted to do. Like I don't even think I don't think I'm going to empty out my drawers because spring is like right around the corner. <laughs> so I think I should just wait until the until the winter's totally over, and then I'll get rid of all my winter stuff. But this is my dresser now, guys. I had him bring me up water because I'm so thirsty. I dry your sheets, guys. Look. I'm sure you guys have more of your house, too. Hairband, my jewelry box. I got here piles of socks. This right here, guys, look, I'm going to show you. This is a shirt my husband got me for my birthday anniversary list in December that I have to bring back. It's way, way, way too big. So I have to bring this back to Target. Let's put that over here. So I'll remember. It's only been since December, guys. Um, this is my... I'll show you right here. This is my basket here. Here's another pair of pants. What are these? I think these have to be washed. Let's put these in there. Then I wonder where all my clothes are. I'm like, I don't have any pants. I don't have any shirts. They're all on the dresser. Hello, look on the dresser, Linda. This, guys, I know you're not going to even believe this. Well, you probably will because I'm telling you, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one who has these issues. I mean, I know I'm not. Comment below, guys, down below, if you guys have issues with socks, losing socks, having mismatched socks, you know, just having them all over the place because I do. 
I do guys socks look well this is dryer sheets that have to go in the garbage and these are all socks that have to be put together look at this I have a basket full of socks that are all misheveled here they are look look um ow ow god my back unbelievable so I'm going to put this over here so it can stay there Guys, this was my mother's. Let me show you. I'm going to show you a couple things. It's garbage. Jesus. Let me just pick up this garbage. Oh, God. Bending is not fun, guys. It's not fun. Okay. Guys, this jewelry box right here was my mother's. Isn't it beautiful? And there's things in here that she, that I got when she passed. Her heart. She used to wear a picture of us or her grandkids. Actually, I gave this. Let me see something. Wait, let me think about something. And yeah, this, 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 this was my mom's. Hello. Um, that was my mom's. There's a few other things in here, but they're, they're buried in here. Oh, this was hers too. This necklace here. And this was her jewelry box, and I love it. And it's so antique, and it's so beautiful. And I keep it up here. It needs to be really cleaned. I guess that's that's dirt. I don't know if that's the 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 um the stain of the thing itself, or it needs to be cleaned. <laughs> Probably a little of both. It's so old. Now this guys, this tells a story, guys. Okay, this tells a story. This right here is a vase. And you see the beautiful, the, the, the beautiful, the, the dead flowers in there? Guys, this is almost 24 years old. When my mother passed, guys, if I could tell you, she had, she was an, she worked in a, she was a manager at an answering service. And she had, if I can tell you, so many people sent her flowers at the funeral home. You walked in there, you couldn't fit them in the, they, they couldn't fit in the room. They, they came outside of the room into the hallway and everything. The flowers, guys, unbelievable. She was so well loved, and just everybody just sent her flowers. It was beautiful. But anyway, I took some of the flowers because I, I wanted to keep them, keep them for a memento, and, and you know, and, and dry them out. So I put them in this vase. And guys, it took 23 years. They just well, they they've been dying, like getting really crinkly and falling off. And this is the last of it. These stems here are the last of the flowers that I preserved 23 years ago. She, she, she passed away, um, she passed away July 23rd, 90, 97. So she'll be gone 24 years. I can't even believe that. Just to say that is unbelievable. 24 years my mother's been gone. So this, you know, there's no more flowers, but I'll keep this forever. This is a, a you know, mine and I got when I, like I said, for when she passed and I put the flowers in here and this will always stay, 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 stay so close to my heart. So, 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 so nice. But they died. They died. Eventually flowers die like us, I guess, guys, right? So, yeah, so I keep this up here. I love that, guys. Remind me of my mom. Always. So, yeah, a little bit of information on that. Now, see, this is all the stuff, guys. Now, look, this is the stuff that I had on my dresser. Is that too bad, right? So I'm going to open these drawers over here. Now, listen, okay? Guys, don't judge me because I told you it is what it is. And I'm going to, this drawer right here has all kinds of like spring and, and summery stuff in it. Um, it has some winter stuff too, obviously. <laughs> Actually, it has pants in here that, that I haven't even worn. I forgot I even have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put like the, the, the summery, springy stuff in here, in this drawer here. All right, let's put stuff in here. So this way, when I need something cool, hey, it's in the second drawer on the left. Stuff under here. I, I, don't, I don't wear it, so obviously I don't need it because I never go in here. So, I mean, it's fine. Um, let's see this drawer here. This drawer has a mix of the same, too, guys. 
This has my pants. Oh, these are like culottes. These are culottes. So I'll put those in with the with the other pants. But here are my shirts that I wear now. Okay, here's another pair of shorts. I'm gonna put them in the other place. I'll put them in the other place. These two. Look, shorts, guys. All my shorts. All my shorts. Maybe I'll put some of these in the closet over here just to make some room for this for this stuff here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. So I'll put these shirts in here. And, uh, you know, I have more than the wash and stuff, but... Um, what is this? This is mine right here. Uh... Yeah, so I have that. Let's bring this over a little bit closer here. Whoops. Let's see, guys. Let's move you over to this. I don't know if you really can't see the straw too well. But I'm going to put... These are not going to go in there because those are cool lots. These, these... All these pants here are going to go in this drawer over here. So this way I know where my pants are among other stuff that's in here. Okay. More and more socks, guys. Socks. These hangers, that's a good hanger. This, this hanger I'm going to use because I have a shirt that I want to put on it. This is going to go to Goodwill, this shirt here, because nobody's going to wear that. And, guys, i got to sit a minute. My back is killing me. My back is killing me. Let's sit here a second. Take her a little rest. Guys, okay. Let's move you back just a little bit so I can... Hi guys, don't mind my appearance today because, you know, it's Saturday and I'm just doing stuff around the house. This shirt here, guys, I wore for my, 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 um, let me move this over. This shirt here I wore for my Aunt Cookie's, my aunt that just passed away from COVID, Aunt Cookie, um, I wore this to her a week. This shirt right here, my Aunt Jerry, who passed away, uh, about a year and a half, a little over a year, a year ago, um, I had gotten they my 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 cousins and my uncle they had given me a big bag of clothes that that were hers that were my size and that they wanted me to have so this was one of her shirts guys there's a story behind this okay this was one of her shirts it's sparkly it's pretty and when when I went to go to the awake for my aunt cookie um I said oh I'm gonna wear this shirt today so when I got to the funeral home and my aunt was laying in the casket I know it's a little morbid I hope it's okay to talk like this, to talk about this. If you guys are disturbed, I guess you can walk away for a minute or whatever. But um, when I went and went and I saw her, she had a sparkly shirt on, the uh, almost identical to this, guys. And she was my godmother, too. She was my godmother, okay? So when I got there, I was like, oh, my God, we had the same shirt on. They put the same shirt on. They didn't even know. They didn't know what shirt I was wearing. Or nobody knew, you know, whatever, it, that there was a connection. But this was my Aunt Jerry's shirt, and my Aunt Cookie had to say almost the same shirt on. It was so, I was like, ooh, like a warmness came all over me saying, I can't believe I wore the same shirt. I love you, Aunt Cook. So it was, yeah, so she was Miss Sparkly, and I wore it that day, and it was so nice. It was a nice tribute. And my cousins were like, oh, my God, that, look at that shirt. That that was my mother's shirt. Like, Aunt Jerry, that, that was my mother's shirt. And then and then, and then, then everybody's like, oh, my God, it's the same shirt, basically, that Aunt Cookie has on, you know, today. And, and weird, guys, huh? Wasn't that so weird? So, yeah, so this is a beautiful shirt that I just wear on eh, special occasions, you know. Funeral's not that great to wear it on, obviously, but... But I keep this one in my closet because I love it, and it's so pretty, and it's so sparkly, right? Isn't that pretty, guys? So pretty. So, yeah, I wanted to tell you the backstory on that shirt. I got some clothes in my closet over here, clothes that I'll wear in the, in the spring and the summer. 
um, that I won't utilize now. Um, yeah, so let me sit here, guys. And this is all Jenny's stuff here. This is Jenny's stuff I'm going to put in her room. This stuff here is... Um, this is like pajamas and stuff, like stuff that I wear to bed. This stuff goes in my um, in my top drawer. Let's put that there. My top drawer is kind of full. It's got all kinds of crap in it. But I can shove this in here. Shove it in, guys. Shove it in. Shove it in. And this is more of the other stuff. I'm just going to leave this in the closet, I think, because I don't have a really specific sp sp um, spot for it right now. Let's move you back. Okay. Move this garbage over. Who is that? It's me! Hey! Can I say hi? You can say hi. Oh, I can't think that they can't do it. You have to be seen. Right? Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. Nice to see you guys again. Look at my nails, guys. <laughs> Look at my nails. Look how pretty her nails are. Pretty. My mom did them for me. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love my mommy so much. I'm gonna sit right here. Look at my dresser, Jen. I wanna sit right here. Look at my dresser. Woo! Good job. So I'm always sending Jenny up to um <laughs> to get clothes off of my dresser for me. Guys, now, now can they can... see me more, mommy? Yeah, one second. Now Please? she can. Now she can find stuff. I wanna. Oh, what about my stuff? Your stuff is in there. <laughs> We don't gotta do my class. Hey, you wanna chat with them for a minute? Yeah. Well, I hey guys, know. how are you? <laughs> how are you guys? I miss going. Oh, guys, guess what? I'm gonna very soon. I'll be starting with, starting with, with my worker, right, mom? Yeah. Very soon I'll be starting with my worker. I'm gonna have a worker. I don't know when, but. I'm going to have a worker. And I miss you guys. I miss hanging out with you guys on the on camera. I miss hanging out with you guys a lot. And maybe this, maybe later, maybe I can, me and mom, me and mom can do something together. Maybe make something special. Like, oh, we can make something really special. Maybe mom. Hey, mom, can we make um, something like... Like, um, maybe cookies? No, today, I don't know. Either today or tomorrow, maybe. We might, maybe, maybe, maybe I do something together, something, like cookies or something. We're going to actually make something special for, um, for Valentine's Day. Cookies, but we're cookies. Do it tomorrow. Part cookies. No, we're doing, like, a parfait or something. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So, All right, I'm done with this. My head. Get that off your head. <laughs> so, here's my dresser, guys. Look, guys, it's on my head. <laughs> guys, look, it's on my now head. Now I can finally find something. <laughs> Here's my bedroom. It's a little messy right now, but in the process of cleaning it. Mom, we gotta do my closet. Yeah, we'll do my your little closet. closet. Okay. I really want to do it. All right. The cacio. Are you t done talking cacio? I'm not a cacio. You know ahead. what cacio means in Italian? I know what that means chatty, chatty Kathy. <laughs> I know what it means. Hello. Uh, let me say goodbye to them. Listen, guys, if you like this content and this episode mm. of Create with Linda, um, mm. hit that thumbs up button on the bottom. And the uh, the, the, the like button, it. obviously. <laughs> and um, hit the, hit the <laughs> notification bell. Notifications. With, with the, the bell. bell. So, so, so you can be notified. <laughs> when. Mind, every time my mom has a new video. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video. We will see you guys. Bye. Guys. Bye.